today's video, we got challenged for top 90s covers by Mr. Akins, aka What's on the Comic Rack. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Satan the Next Gen Collector, and before we get into these top 10 90s covers, we have a unboxing here and a PSA. If you are bagging your books and you are going out to go buy you know, supplies, go ahead and get the painter's tape. This is going to save you a lot of trouble opposed to accidentally getting tape pulls or the awkwardness of trying to peel open a bag from uh, the bag board each book out. Get painter's tape. It's a whole lot easier, a whole lot of less stress. So get painter's tape. So a little bit about this top 10. Uh, it actually isn't my top 10 90s books because they would all just be Amazing Spider-Man books. So I kind of went through, pick and choose uh, some of my favorites and some to kind of mix in there to make sure this wasn't all Amazing Spider-Man. First up, in classic 90s fashion, we have Wonder Man here, number one. Uh, you can see right there, this one actually came with a free poster. If that doesn't scream 90s, uh, these next couple books will, believe me. Definitely check out uh, early one of my videos. That's where I got a majority of these pickups. I have more in-depth details on them. But uh, number 10, Wonder Man number one from 1991. Next up, we have the second appearance of probably one of the most, if not the most, iconic characters to come out of the 1990s. We have the second appearance of Deadpool in X-Force number two, also from 1991. But yes, in also the same fashion, I think is my last video when I got this book. It is the second appearance of Deadpool in the second issue of X-Force. So two's all around. Um, but yes, very happy to have this. New Mutants 98 is obviously on my list of books to get. It's gonna be on the rail board that I should be getting printed up this weekend. Yes, number nine, second appearance of Deadpool, X-Force number two, 1991. Can't talk about the 90s without talking about iconic and nothing's more iconic than the DC storyline of the death of Superman. So we have first appearance of Doomsday, 1992. Um, very iconic character. I would have to go through and probably get a list of the most iconic villains that came out in the 1990s. Uh, I know there's two that you're about to see coming up that I personally like and think are more iconic than this man. Try not to age myself, but I definitely was not alive whenever any of these books came out. So sorry, 2000s guy here. But uh, I saw videos online of obviously during the comic crash and everything. This was a huge part of that. Uh, everyone's like, oh my god, I gotta get all the books of Death Superman, blah, blah, blah. But number seven on the list, Mr. Doomsday there, first appearance in 1992. Did you guys catch that? I'm already messing up the top ten because I had the numbering all wrong and I think Bruh. I only did nine books, so just pay attention to the top left and it's actually a top nine. Sorry? Please enjoy. Even at DC here, number six, Green Lantern 50. Big key here, toss up all the key significance in this book. Insanely underrated uh, DC key here, underrated Green Lantern key. Uh, Parallax, Kyle Rayner, you know it, you love it. Great cover, uh, near minty goodness here that I got for solid five big ones. But, but this actually came out in 1994, moving up the chain here. But uh, great cover of Parallax, happy to have it. Got it from a comic shop that I used to go to quite a bit in Knoxville when I used to live there, so. Happy to have this one at number six. Going back in time to back to 1990, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 344. Everyone knows it because it's obviously the first appearance of Cardiac here on the cover. No, I'm kidding, Cletus Cassidy. But bonus, Cardiac here. Not a lot of people like him, know him. It's definitely not a spec character, I'll tell you that. Uh, if anyone's gonna kind of be this, it's gonna be the shocker, I think. I don't know, I'm not really familiar with Cardiac really either. But like I said, was not born or alive whenever any of these books came out. But I love them none the same. But number five on the list, cracking the top five, Amazing Spider-Man number 344, 1990, first appearance of Cletus Cassidy and Cardiac. Some real 90s goodness with that hologram on the front with the homage, if you can even see it, Amazing Fantasy 15. You have Amazing Spider-Man number 365, the first appearance in cameo of Spider-Man 2099, or first appearance if you count it. Um, it is five pages. You know how I know that and how anyone can know that? is if you look right here at the bottom, it literally says with a preview of Spider-Man 2099 on it. So, I mean, do with that as you will. With the new Spider-Man animated movie with Miles Morales, Mr. Miguel O'Hara here has been getting a lot of popularity. So I was happy to pick this one up a while ago uh, during a local comic shop back in Knoxville. I was having a buy two minor keys off the key wall, get a third free. So I did not pay this kind of ridiculous price tag of $40 back during comic boom. I um, got it for free with the other two books, probably overpaid for it. But happy to have this one, number four, 1992. Moving to number three, a book that's even better than the last one because it's the first full appearance and cover of Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, with one-upping the preview with 
you know what, instead of having a hologram in the middle, let's just go with a complete border uh, with some foil instead. Let's one-up it, you know? So this is also 1992. Uh, great cover appearance from Miguel O'Hara there. This book has obviously been taking off, relatively speaking, because it's a 90s book. Uh, with the Miguel O'Hara being a major part of the Into the Spider-Verse movie, with a third movie coming on the way where he's sure going to headline that. But yes, happy to have this at number three on my top 90s covers. All right, number two. If you saw my trip to New York, you know what book this is going to be. But it's an amazing Spider-Man number 361. First appearance and cover of Carnage by Mark Bagley. Beautiful art there. Uh, yes, if you want to talk about iconic characters coming out of the 90s, nothing is probably more iconic than the symbiote craze and then the first offspring of that being Carnage. So, insanely happy to have this in my collection personally. I love the symbiotes. Venom is my favorite uh, Spider-Man villain. So, uh, obviously Carnage is right there up with him. Yes, but a little lore behind the next-gen collector here. Um, my first experience with Carnage specifically, actually now that I think of it, it's either going to be a tie between the animated Spider-Man show and uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man video game. Spoilers for the video game, I mean, it's super old and guaranteed no one is probably playing it right now. But um, basically Carnage in that game was Peter Parker once he got the symbiote, or something along those lines. I'm not too sure. I never read Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, so I'm not sure if that actually happens or if that's just a new game or what. But, but yes, that was my first experience with Carnage and I was like, all right, this is really cool. Uh, but anyway, super happy to have this book in the collection. Let's get into the number one spot. Well, my number one 90s book that I personally have in my collection is in fact not a beautiful Spider-Man book here, but it is John Burns, Next Men 3, first appearance in color of Hellboy. Uh, this book, I talked about previously in my other book, why I was so excited to have this book, but beautiful cover here. The way the red of Hellboy pops off the back with the purple. Uh, this Everything on this cover works. Um, I think this is one of those covers that will stand the test of time. But I really had to step back and think, is this really a 90s cover? Because I had to double take because usually 90s covers are really corny, but not this one, baby. First appearance of Hellboy, my number one spot in 90s covers. Well, guys, that was my top 10 90s books slash covers. I really don't know why I went back and forth between them, but... Top 10 90s books that I have in my collection. Once again, shout out to Mr. Akins, what's on the comic rack, for shouting me out and tagging me in to do this challenge. Um, stay tuned for the next video coming up where will probably be the announcement of the winner of the 100 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't already, go back to the previous video. You'll see on the thumbnail says giveaway how to enter. Uh, go to the comments on that video, watch the video, figure out what you need to hashtag, drop it down below, you'll be automatically entered. It's gonna last one week, so by the time you see this video, it's probably only got a few more days left. So hurry up and go enter, comment down below on that video with the proper hashtag to win these books right here. But once again, I've been talking way too long. Let's hit the outro.